The next part of my flight takes me from Moses Cooley, south along the Columbia River, which is the main drainage for central Washington. This region also has seen many flooding episodes, but we're going to take a look at a landmass that was formed by the most recent event, the West Bar. These gigantic ripple marks signify something remarkable happened here in the latest flood that occurred about 12,000 years ago. As the glaciers to the north finally began to recede, one lobe of ice had backed up a large body of water known as Lake Columbia. And when that ice dam broke, it sent a torrent of water down through this area. Judging by the height and spacing of these ripple marks, Geologists estimate that the water that blew through here was over 650 feet deep. You've seen ripple marks before, on a beach or in a lake. Well, these ripple marks are formed the same way, except on a huge scale. Next, we're going to take a look at potholes and Frenchman coolies. You see, during the Lake Missoula floods, and these were the very violent, sudden floods that were channeled in from the north, they formed the dry falls and they came in through what is now the Afraid of Town and into this huge open expanse area to the east known as the Quincy Basin. Imagine that water suddenly flowing in and swelling in size and then spilling over the rim where these two coolies are located down into the Columbia Basin some 850 feet below. This created some very unique and interesting geological features. So I guess the question is, what possibly could have caused such an alien landscape feature like this? So if you look at those far distant mountains off to the right there, imagine the floodwaters arriving in this region through a channel that's located right there, about 35 miles northeast of where we're at. That means everything you see on the horizon, which is the Quincy Basin, immediately flooded up. And as the water searched for low ground, it spilled over the rim right here, down into the Columbia Gorge below, creating these fantastic features. And this is the Columbia Basin. When some of those floods finally equalized out, they were at a depth of 800 feet above the river right there. <laughs> That's higher than I'm flying right now.
is the Babcock Bench, located right along I-90, and you can see the Vantage Bridge crossing the Columbia River just to the south. So what you have here is a landscape deeply scarred by high energy ice age floodwaters. Waterfalls pounded away at the basalt bedrock here carrying away untold cubic miles of debris from the region sending it down the Columbia River. What is left behind here are scab lands, potholes, pools of water stepped down in elevation, and lakes such as these that tell the story of what happened here thousands of years ago. For a scale of the scope and magnitude of these cataracts, look for the hiker on the rim here as we pass over. Well now you know, what a coolie.